Are you an introvert? How do you know that you're introvert? Here's my understanding as a coach. An extrovert is someone who feels more energetic the more he or she socializes with people. Their batteries get recharged when they have social activities. An introvert is someone who, when they're alone, when they're not social, their batteries are being recharged. There's some scientific debate as to whether ambiverts actually exist, but an ambivert is someone who enjoys social situations, but as they're socializing, they do feel their energy draining and they need their individual time. So I think that I'm an ambivert but if random ambiverts don't exist, if I had to pick, I would say I'm an introvert who's highly adapted to social situations. Now, when you're an introvert or an ambivert, if you don't naturally recharge your batteries, if talking to people actually takes energy out of you, even if you enjoy it, then here are some tips to help you with your dating life. The first thing you have to realize is that you need time to recharge your batteries. For me, the most efficient way to recharge my battery is to move my body do some type of exercise, followed by some type of relaxation, meditation, a massage, some light stretching, just alone time on my bed, perhaps watching Netflix. I know that I need that hour to hour and a half to just be by myself in a peace. A lot of times I take walks at nighttime because it's so quiet and I can kind of converse with the universe and just feel connected. So for me, that downtime is super important. Another thing that I noticed with introvert clients is that we're very focused on how we are as people. So we take rejection quite personally. You have to realize that you have to take your ego out of the equation. If you go up to a girl and the conversation doesn't go well, she's not rejecting you as a person. She doesn't know you as a person. She's just rejecting perhaps the approach, the way she felt or she's just maybe having a bad day. So I started taking everything not personally, even though dating is such a social skill. I took my ego out of it and I started asking myself, what is the girl's experience like and how do I make that experience the most enjoyable for her and for myself? A fourth tip I'll give you is that people don't really care that much. When I first started, I remember during the day, I felt like if I went up to a girl at a coffee shop that everybody would stare. I actually even imagined that cops would show up and arrest me. Like that was how scared I was. And then I realized when you go up to a girl at a, at a restaurant, even sitting down or at a coffee shop, the first few seconds you say, hey, you looked interesting and I wanted to meet you. Everybody will look. But if you stay there and you accept that social pressure, you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of talking to you. Then after about two seconds, everyone goes back to what they were doing. Now some weird guys will like stare for a long time but that's pretty rare but what i realized was that you're not that important in other words like the world doesn't revolve around you so many other people have their own things going on yes oh this guy's talking to that girl but it takes about two or three seconds for them to revert back to what they were doing so once i realized that i wasn't that important i stopped taking things so personally i stopped feeling like this is such a big deal i'm like going up to this girl it just became like a small thing that i did and it wasn't a big deal anymore. And that relates to like the fifth point, which is this is a game. I don't mean a game in the sense that nothing matters and everything's like virtual. What I mean is this is a game where you should have fun. You should try to get the point. You should try to score, whatever that means for you. But you should also do it in a fun way. You should enjoy that process. Make the mistakes you need to make. Learn from your mistakes. Hang out with friends, go out with friends, learn to socialize, but enjoy the game. A game is meant to be fun. It's meant to be instructive. It's meant to improve your learning skills. It's meant to give you a level of competency where you feel like, oh, I have the skill now. I have the confidence because I know that my confidence is based on competence and not luck or uh, over inflated ego. If you're really struggling with dating, the first thing you should focus on is your image. It's like, how am I coming across visually within the first three seconds to women? It is one of the most powerful attraction triggers that you can change that's within your control that I believe 10x my results. In fact, once I improved my image, I saved probably 90% of the work that most guys have to do to try to convince a girl that they're a cool guy. Because the moment she sees me, she automatically assumes or her unconscious mind puts me in the category of this is the type of guy who's cool, who's already got social value. The reason I created my course Seduce with Style is because I realized that no matter how good your verbal game is, how good you talk to good women, unless you improve this area, it be, the game is a lot harder. And once you figure this out, it just becomes a lot easier for you because girls will be giving opportunities to create those reference experiences where you're like oh this is what it feels like when a girl chases me oh this is what it feels like when a girl is giving me attention standing really close to me or even initiating the conversation if this is an area where you feel like you're lacking or that you can do a lot better or you want to save yourself 90 percent of the work check out seduce with style it's a master course i developed it talks about the core principles of style that a lot of style blogs and styled videos don't talk about 
the reason why women find men attractive at the very core evolutionary level. And then I take those first principles and I apply them to how I went from a 23-year-old virgin to dating models at Fashion Week. I teach you how to put together your first outfit. I teach you how to determine a look that works for you, how to pick your hairstyle, how to pick your shirts, your jackets, your pants, your shoes, how to put together that look or a couple of looks that work for your personality. As a former model, I teach you how to pose for photographs. I teach you how to edit your photographs without being a Photoshop expert. In fact, there's an app I use that takes about 20 seconds to make your face look more attractive. I'll teach you how to take good photos so that online dating actually works for you, no matter how good you think or how bad you think you look right now. In the advanced section, I talk about how to date girls that are very high competition that a lot of guys would like to date and go after. I also talk about my experience dating models and how that attraction cycle is different for most men. And you also learn exactly how women are thinking when they see a guy because I'll show you my interviews with them and seducing stuff. So this is a master course that's really gonna help you can check out the link in the description.